Okay, quick video on the uh, rarest of Harbor Freight Thunderbolt Solar stuff, which is the 500 watt charge controller right here. Um, people are cool with me kind of doing this uh, little video. It's functionally uh, looked really, really close to the um, net meter solar charge controllers that we buy online. I sell locally. The price, you can catch some sale prices on these, $89.99, I think is a regular price. I, I gotta go and double check my coupon book, because I'm fairly certain you can get these for 80 bucks even. Um, doesn't come with nearly the um, informative of owner's manual that the uh, NetMeter Solar version comes with. I'm 90% certain I gotta go and check the boxes, because I, I use the NetMeter Solar units at home. Um, I'm 90% certain it's the same hardware, okay? Kind of generic, but it's going to do what it's supposed to do. It's got the, the readout. We're going to do a little more detailed stuff on this. We're going to be hopefully putting one in a guy's cabin here in the next couple of weeks. And I would suggest that if you do use these in connection with a solar power system, have a spare around, okay? My experience with the net meter solar units is that if they ever go really sideways on you, you can solve most of those problems by just... Kind of undoing your screws and unplugging it from the bottom, replugging it back in, and most of those things will reset themselves. On this one, they don't really have a lot of how to, so it's going to be one of those things where you got to figure it out, get the information online. Um, the other thing is, they, they say it's a 500 watt charge controller, that's because it's a 30 amp uh, unit, so you got to you want to be a little conservative with that. My unit running 400 watts of panels has overloaded a couple of times when there's been like a solar flare, flare or just particularly sunny day. So you want to be conservative when you hook that up. But if you're stuck with local availability on solar panels being kind of limited to the Harbor Freight store, yeah, you can stack a crap load of their solar panels up, run all the wires to this thing, and you're okay. Um, their solar panels are decent for buildings they're not all that great for rv use but they're decent for buildings and this charge controller though is is pretty good and uh, i've used them before before harbor freight even started selling them so th finally we're seeing these things in the store they've been kind of like on a little board here for several months now but um they finally have them in a the store they they have that 35 amp hour battery which is you know okay but uh then they've got this little kit here for it's a, a, a five watt solar panel system basically it's a small power box with a uh, little five watt panel i would recommend i mean it's only 49.99 okay we're not talking big money stuff i would just recommend getting that larger uh five in one uh power center if, if you're going to do anything serious and then at the briefcase solar charger again it's it's kind of cute for some stuff. I, I just don't, you know, my, my equipment's either above or below that, uh, depending on what I'm using. Uh, I've got that f foldable solar panel charger. Uh, been testing it, not real happy so far. It's a nice concept, it's just not functioning that great. But I'm only into it $39.99. I think I used a 20% coupon. It's, uh, I, I don't know. I gotta test it against uh, the Goal Zero stuff too. See how that goes. The other thing is they have a whole series of power inverters, which are pretty good. They're they're as good as anything else out there until you get into the, the pure sine wave stuff. The other thing that's good about this little series of the Chicago Electric ones, they usually have a USB plug on them, which is kind of nice.